Roman Weber takes on Yusuf Abu Shriek. Weber from Russia, but by way of Lebanon. Abu Shriek from Jordan. Well, don't blink, because you might miss some of the action here. Brad reckons it's going to end soon. Well, the way things have been going, he could be right. These are big boys, but they move very quickly, don't they? Yeah, it started off straight away. I, I do believe that Roman has the advantage on the floor, but it's been a long time out. He, he may not even want to take it down there. He's hungry, he wants to get in there and fight, but that could all change with one punch. Abu Shriek looks a very, very relaxed. Good straight hand from Abu Shriek. And doesn't that tell a story? Straight hand through the middle. But look at that. Weber comes back strong with a big, big, big set of hands there. Puts his man in the guillotine up against the wire. And uh, Weber controlling it very well. These boys right in front of us now. And look at the power there. Takes his man down, Weber. Yeah, Weber's doing a great job. Spalling out, driving his man to the canvas. Abu Shriek doing a good job of defending that guillotine, but he, he, he's in a bad situation here, getting some heavy, heavy hands here from Roman. The referee, Mark Godard, warning Weber for hitting the back of the head. The referee just having a quick word with them, and uh, it's a restart, but that was just an explosive start from Weber, really was. We just saw what they're capable of. Great hands we saw from Abu Shriek, straight through the middle there, and that caused Weber a problem. But Weber came back, turned it around, and after some great, great shots on the inside, took that neck control in that position, levered his man in, and the leverage there, sprawling and taking him down, I mean, that was incredible power, as well as skill. Yeah, we was threatening him with that front headlock, with a, with a guillotine maybe, but used the front headlock perfectly to get uh, Abu Shriek back down to the canvas, and the man is to get some ground about. Unfortunately, he wasn't being careful with his shots, wasn't looking where they were going, and, it, and he's unfortunately had a point taken away now for hitting the back of the head. Right, well, that may all be academic indeed, the way this fight is going, but Mark Goddard right to call it, but Abu Shriek shaken by that, and that explosiveness has really put a Shriek on the back foot here. Abu Shriek really, the face belies it all, looking to defend there, but there's the hand, and that's where the slugfest comes. It goes to the ground, Abu Shriek with the leg there, Gets the takedown and uh, having to defend from his back now, Roman Weber. Yeah, there's a little bit of rock and soccer. Roman Weber did a great job using a butterfly to sweep it into mount. And he is unloading some ground and pound here. He's got to be careful now not to hit the back of the head. Now he's already had a point taken away. But Abu Sheik not doing a good job here, just clinching him. And with doing that, he's just holding him on top of him. He needs to try and work. He, he's trying to complain now about the back of the head, but the, that's a, up to the ref to decide about this. And, He's oh, God, I'm looking very, very closely here. He's about to step in, and that's it. It's all over. Roman Weber has done it. It's a TKO with the ground and pound. An absolutely powerful and overwhelming performance. Mark Goddard emphatic on his decision that it was a stoppage and it was right to do it. Weber takes it here. This is another stoppage in the distance. Brad Pickett calls it right within the first round. It was going to be a stoppage from Weber, and it wasn't. If you take out the time for Mark Goddard having a word with him, well, that was longer than the fight. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's great to see Weber back. I'm so excited and so thrilled for him, you know. It, it, it's been a long, long journey, but you saw here, you see it in the replay now in, in Mount here. He's punching hard here, keeping a great position, weight down. Goddard's looking closely, but Abu Sheik did not doing a great job just holding him down here yeah, and doing that. He, not intelligent in defending himself. My God, I saw enough and, uh, and I had to call the halt to the contest. But just look at the power, the usage of weight there from Weber. So skillful in moving himself up on top of the body, just trapping the rib cage, not allowing Abu Shriek to even pop him off there with, a, with, with, with any kind of flip or turnover, unable to push his man out. And um, I have to say that that was just a decisive and emphatic victory from Weber. And, you know, having had the warning from hitting on the back of the head, used the left hand to finish his man off in the final assault. Waiting to give the um, presentation, CEO and President of Phoenix Fighting Championships, Ladies Shahe Yerevenian. This is the announcement. After one minute, 55 seconds of the very first round, we have a winner by way of referee stoppage to ground and pound and TKO from Lebanon, Roman Weber. Listen to the crowd, give it up here.
That's uh, Roman's good lady wife in his corner with him. In fact, he's here with his whole family. So there's motivation enough for you to take an early win. You were never in any doubt about this, were you, Brad? This was always going to be a Roman Weber night. Yeah, for me, even with that point deducted, I knew it won't really come into effect here with these two powerhouses. Didn't get outside the first round, you know. Very, very good job by Weber. Like I keep saying, excited to see him back here in the cage of Phoenix.